Allison Kohler is our next presenter. Allison is a first year PhD student in ecology within the graduate degree program in ecology. They knew they wanted to study ecology when they had more animal friends growing up than human friends. Their presentation title is Bright Pink and Green, Glow in the Dark Flying Squirrels and Platypuses. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me to learn about my research on bright pink and green, glow in the dark, flying squirrels and platypuses. I'm Allie Kohler and I'm a PhD student working with Dr. Boone. Fluorescence happens when something absorbs a short ultraviolet wavelength and then reflects it as the longer visible one. A black light acts as a translator and allows us to see UV that would otherwise be invisible to us, though other species can see it naturally. Biofluorescence is common in the natural world and it can be used for various functions like attracting a mate or camouflage from predators. This project began when one of my professors at Northland College in the department of shine a black light on everything was taking a late night stroll in his backyard looking at fluorescent plants. Perhaps the stars aligned that night because a flying squirrel glided right through the beam of his black light. <laughs> and it was bright pink. He came to school the next day saying, there's hot pink glow in the dark flying squirrels in my backyard. So to investigate, we had a two museum and examined over a hundred specimens shining a black light on their backs and undersides. And sure enough, they were vibrant pink. In general, they were more vibrant on their undersides and some showed distinct patterns like highlighted mammaries. During this investigation, we noticed that the platypus specimens were giving off a funky alien-like green glow that we had to document as well. These are the first documentations of fluorescence in placental and egg-laying mammals. In a previous study found fluorescence in opossums, which are marsupials. These species collectively represent the three major mammalian lineages, perhaps suggesting that this trait has been passed down through evolution. But the million dollar question, why are they glowing? Well, we don't know, but we can speculate. Once we saw the museum specimens fluoresce, we could conclude that this was not the result of a handful of backyard squirrels being covered in fluorescent spray paint. We speculate that these animals are using this trait for some purpose. For the squirrels, we hypothesize that it could be used to navigate their low light or snow covered environments, or that it may be used to communicate with members of their own species or another species. And platypuses can't see very well and they rely on other senses like touch and sound. So we speculate that their fluorescence may be seen by other species like their predators and maybe it helps the platypuses avoid becoming dinner. This project shows how much is hiding right in front of us, maybe in our own backyards. These are probably just the first documentations of many mammalian species that fluoresce. Implications of this research are to aid in education, conservation, knowledge, and perhaps even to adva advance areas in biomedicine. There's so much still out there waiting to be discovered. And sometimes all it takes is looking at things in a slightly different light. Thank you.